All right, I am back with finally another alarm video. I have a pretty neat little demonstration set up here. So this is a Scantronic, well, this is not the panel, this is the keypad, but this is the keypad to a Scantronic SC800 panel, which are sometimes rebranded as Arrowhead. Uh, I'm one of two people to have shown this on YouTube, to my knowledge, but also to my knowledge, I'm the only hobbyist who has one, because they're extremely hard to get, but they are very neat panels have a lot of cool functions, like what I'm about to show you. Uh, so you may have heard of like central stations remotely arming and disarming security panels. Uh, this, you can do that. Now this is a very old panel, so this software runs on DOS, but here is the ScanPro downloader software, which is used for uh, remote programming and other functions, including viewing the logs and remote operation. So I'm gonna give a demonstration on remotely arming and disarming this panel. And then we'll also see it report to the radionics receiver here. And you may have noticed that I do have a rack now, so it's kind of nice. So this is my makeshift central station. So let's... Log on here. Now, uh, if we go into panel functions and programming, and we go to remote panel operation, now we want to enter the account number for the panel, like the account record, which contains the phone number and whatnot. So this one is 01, account number 0000. Then we hit F1, and it'll use this modem and dial into the panel. And you won't see anything happening here. You hear that click as the panel picking up. And you're going to hear modem data in the background here. currently connecting. And there we go. So here is the interface. We got, there's the current time. It's online with the panel. Uh, system is ready. If it were armed right now, it would be in delay mode. Fire bell is off, burglary bell is off. AC power is fine and low battery because there's no battery installed. No zones armed, no zones in alarm, and no zones faulted. Well, this is, refers to it as violations. So let's go into system operation. Well, first let's show this. You can add a message on the LCD of the keypad. I would do that, but the low battery trouble overrides it, and I don't have another battery because my battery's in the receiver right now. So can't show that, but if we go in here, we can do arm and disarm area one. So let's do that. And let's arm it instant, because why not? Hit F1. And there it is. Panel arms. Let me see. Trouble, arm instant. And then we can also disarm it. And we can also set this to disarm all areas, because this panel can have up to four areas. There we go. So that's arming and disarming a panel remotely. And let me just let me demonstrate the violations indicator here. So we're going to clip on zone eight. There's the panel board, along with the D6412 board. Come back over here, and we see the ready indicator uh, cadence has changed. And we see Zone 8 violated and the zone text, which is camera system alert for my DVR when I had it set up. And now if we look in here, violations 8. So that's how that's shown. And if we come back over here and reset it. Let's back off. We will see. It's back to normal cadence and no more violations. So that's that. So to disconnect, we're going to hit escape. And yes, we want to exit. It has to exit out of uh, remote operation. Oh, we can also pull the panel history, so let's do that. Now this takes a little bit of time because it's a lot of data to transfer, but we're gonna pull the entire event log from the panel. And while it's doing that, I'll talk about something neat, is this can have an unattended operation set up. And I haven't messed with it a lot yet, but I'm getting into that because I just got the software working today. The modem was being a pain. 
but you can have it set up so that it, like when it sends its periodic test report, it'll go and upload its log to the software and stuff like that. And it, I think it can also get the date and time from the software here at the same time. So that's kind of nice. There is our events. So that's a bunch of event log and we can save it if we wanted, which I haven't done yet because don't need to. And we could also print it. I should have set up a printer for this, because I have one. Anyway, that's that. So let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Exit. And let's say disconnect. And the panel makes a tone to indicate that the session is over. Huh. And let's see here. I don't know if it's going to report. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I guess we can try arming it again. Oh, yep, there we go. So we are reporting to the radionics arm receiver at the moment. You can barely see the thing, but it's down there. It's just very dark. And we're gonna get a bunch of alarms coming in in a second. See, it's reporting a lot because we armed it, disarmed it, armed it again. And disarm it. And there we go. So that just reported all the alarms that came in. So, yeah, that is a demonstration of central station operation of a panel remotely over the phone line. So, that's kind of neat, and I don't think anyone's ever really shown that before on YouTube, so I'll be the first. And for professional reasons, we will exit back to idle. Here we go. That's the demonstration.